So I was just watching Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. And on the last episode, I noticed something. Gojo called his final attack purple and imaginary mass. Now this got me thinking, and after a little bit of research, I realized how truly deep Gojo's abilities are. So now I am making a video about explaining Gojo's abilities mathematically. Now Gojo mainly has four abilities, starting with Limitless Infinity, a neutral invisible force which acts as a shield. The border of this shield can be called zero. Let me elaborate. Now imagine an object that is flying towards Gojo's infinity and the distance between Gojo's infinity and this object is 10 meters. In every moment or so, this object is dividing their distance by half. So in a moment, this object is 5 meters away. In two moments, this object is 2.5 meters away. This way, the object can keep dividing the distance in half, but it can never really reach zero or in this case, Gojo's infinity. And then it completely loses its momentum and falls or stops. So in mathematical terms, Gojo's infinity is a limit. On number two is Curse Technique Amplification Blue, a negative attraction force which is pulling objects towards this blue orb, or Gojo is basically dividing the distance between the object and himself. Then there is the Curse Technique Reversal Red, a positive repulsion force which as the name suggests is the opposite of the Curse Technique Blue, achieved by squaring the negative energy. What squaring means is multiplying a number or in this case, energy with itself. And as we all know, multiplying two negative numbers with each other creates a positive number or in this case, energy. And now his fourth and the strongest technique, Purple. Get it? Blue and red equals purple. Yes, purple is the technique achieved when negative energy of blue is multiplied by the positive energy of red, which creates an imaginary mass. But what is an imaginary mass? Now, to understand what imaginary means in this context, we have to understand what square root means. Now, we know what a square means. When you square a number, you multiply it by itself. So, the square of 3 will be 9. And the square root is the literal reversal technique of squaring. So, basically, the square root of 9 will be 3. So, when we are finding the square root of 16, we are finding what number, when multiplied with itself, will produce 16, which in this case is 4 times 4 equals 16. Now, let me ask you an interesting question. What would be the square root of minus one. Huh? Now you might just think it's either minus one or one, but we know that multiplying two negative numbers with each other just creates a positive number. And well, one times one is just, well, one. Bruh. So what actually is the square root of minus one? Well, it doesn't exist. The square root of minus one literally does not exist on the real number line which includes all positive, negative, whole and fractional numbers and even irrational numbers. Yet it doesn't have square root of minus one. So to find the square root of minus one, mathematicians went above and beyond and created a number that quite literally transcends the real number line. They created an imaginary number, I. But how is this related to limitless purple? Well, even if a literal square root of minus 1 doesn't exist on the real number line, you could represent it by multiplying minus 1 with plus 1. Sound familiar? That's exactly what blue and red are. They represent negative and positive square roots of imaginary purple. But then what about the word mass in this term? Now red and blue are implied to be some kind of energy, but purple is called a mass. I think this might be a reference to the positive and negative charge of particles called protons and electrons respectively. And when these particles combine, they create the fundamental building block of all matter, an atom. And unlike pure energy like light, matter has weight and well, as you may know it, mass. In physics, the term for imaginary mass is given as tachyons. Gojo has other abilities as well, like his domain expansion and his six size technique, but I won't be going into detail about them because they don't really need much mathematical explanation. Bruh. But I'll explain them in short. So basically his domain expansion is making his opponent into a PC, then playing Minecraft on it and blowing up thousands of TNT. And his six size technique is basically a combination of the Sharingan and the Scarlet Eyes from Hunter x Hunter. Well, that's about it for the video and if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And well, thanks.
for watching. <laughs>